something new is coming to South Dakota's two largest cities. The Department of Transportation is installing a different kind of interchange called a diverging diamond in both Rapid City and Sioux Falls. Get ready. In tonight's Eye on Kettleland, Tom Hansen explains how it's something drivers are just going to have to get used to. The first diverging diamond is already under construction in Rapid City at La Crosse Street over I-90. It should be finished in about two years. The second diverging diamond will be constructed in Sioux Falls on 41st Street over I-29. Here's how it works. While eastbound traffic is stopped at a red light, vehicles heading west on 41st will diverge from the right side of the road to the left side as they go over the interstate, then back to the right side of the road. Not only will a diverging diamond handle a lot more traffic, it'll make making that left-hand turn onto the interstate a whole lot safer. Here at 41st Street and Interstate 29, we have a ton of left turn movements to get onto the interstate system. With the left turns, there's a lot of crashes, a lot of rear end crashes, a lot of left turn crashes, and diverging diamonds have been statistically determined to reduce crashes by over 50%. The diverging diamond may look intimidating. After all, it sends traffic into what appears to be the oncoming lane. But Austin says they plan to make it easy for drivers. I've driven through a couple of them now, and there are so many concrete barriers that are that are channelizing the drivers on where they're supposed to go. We rely on those concrete barriers to make it a really easy way for drivers to figure out where they're going versus just putting pavement markings down on the on the concrete. The 41st Street project is an effort between the city and the state. Travis Dressen, a DOT engineer, says when they first started to look at diverging diamonds, there were about 60 across the country. That number is growing now to well over 100, and, and we're seeing that these things really handle high traffic volumes. We know 41st Street is that, um, especially in the morning. We have a lot of that traffic trying to make a left turn to get onto the interstate, so it really handles those left turn movements really well. If you look to the right side of this animation, you can see how diverging diamonds also include walkways for pedestrians, which are protected by concrete barriers. Dressen says by 2025, the Sioux Falls area will have four diverging diamonds. The others will be located at Benson Road and I-29, the Brandon exit on I-90, and at 85th and I-29 when approved. Dressen says they are always looking at ways to improve traffic efficiency and safety, and these projects in Rapid City and Sioux Falls check both those boxes. With Eye on Kelloland, I'm Tom Hansen. We can do this. We can do this. Yeah. Both the Rapid City and Sioux Falls projects are sizable and complicated, so they're expected to take about two years to complete.